Certificates are very important for online courses. It gives your students a sense of accomplishment and serves as a trophy and a proof of what they have learned. In this video, we are going to learn how you can create beautiful certificates using the Certificate Builder for Tutor LMS. So let's get started. So we're here in our WordPress dashboard. So the first thing that we need to do is install the free version of Tutor LMS. To do that, we are going to hover our mouse over plugins and then click on add new. From here, we're going to search for Tutor LMS. And you can see the animated logo of Tutor LMS. This is the plugin we are going to install. It's by Themium and it has over 50,000 active installations. So click on the install now button and wait for the plugin to get installed. After it's installed, click on Activate to activate the plugin. And that's it. Tutor LMS has been installed. As you can see that it brings us the setup wizard. So let me quickly go through it. We're going to click on Let's Start. So from here you can pick a category for your LMS platform. You can either select uh, individual or marketplace. I am selecting marketplace. So it gives us a few more options. The instructor profile, turn it on, students profile. We're going to click on next. From the courses, I think everything is okay here. We're going to click on next. And new signups, earnings. We're going to enable those, click on next. And for these, we are going to select all of these bank transfer, e check, and PayPal. So we're going to finish the setup. Now, now this says that Tutor LMS has been installed. You can see. You can see the all the features of Tutor LMS. But we still don't have Tutor LMS Pro. You can go to the add-ons and see that we don't have access to these add-ons because these are only available in Tutor LMS Pro. And you can see the Tutor Certificate. This is the add-on that will let you use the various certificate templates that Tutor LMS has. So we need Tutor LMS Pro for this. Let's see how you can get Tutor LMS Pro. We need to go to this website. The link will be given in the description below. So from here, if you don't have an account, create a Themium account and then click on this Tutor LMS button. From here, click on pricing. And you can see there are four plans. The first plan is the basic free package, which we already have installed in our website. You can choose any of these three packages. I'm going to select the individual one. Let's click on buy now and it will be added to your cart. Now the checkout process is very simple. Just fill out your first name, last name, country, region and choose a payment method. You can use the credit card or PayPal. After you do, click on this I have read and agree with the website's terms. Sign up now and complete the purchase. So after you download Tutor LMS Pro, you will see that there's a new compressed file over here. So we have to upload this plugin to our WordPress website. So let's go back to our WordPress website. From here, we are going to hover our mouse over plugins and then click on add new once again. Then from here, we're going to select this upload button and then choose a file and then select Tutor LMS Pro and then click on open. Then we're going to click on the install now button. Okay, the plugin has been installed. Now we're going to click on activate. Okay, the plugin has been activated. So now we have Tutor LMS Pro. So after your Tutor LMS Pro has been installed and activated, you might see an error message such as this one. It says there is an error with your Tutor Pro license. Automatic update has been turned off. So we need to register our Tutor LMS Pro with a license. So to get the license code, go back to Themium's official website. From here, you can see your username. Click on this arrow over here and you can see a button called licenses. Click on this and you will see the licenses page. 
from here you can see all your themium products so for tutor lms you can see there's a button called add website click on this button and provide the url of your website and you will be given a license code copy that license code and go back to your wordpress dashboard then hover your mouse over tutor lms pro and then click on license paste your license key over here and then click on this button that says connect with license key and your tutor lms pro will be activated so i'm going to activate my tutor lms pro product now now you can see in this add-on section that we have all the add-ons available now we're going to enable some of these add-ons we're going to enable the calendar add-on you can just simply click on these buttons to enable them the content rip add-on the enrollment the google classroom the quiz export import now all these are fine but to build certificates to get access to all the certificate templates we are going to enable this certificate add-on now we will have access to all the certificate templates that themium has to offer now you can use these certificate templates for your courses and that's totally fine but what you won't be able to do is customize the design of your certificate to solve this issue, Themium introduced the Certificate Builder. This gives you a completely new interface to design and customize your certificates. You will have access to various fonts and typography options. You can use the drag and drop feature to grab elements and place it on your certificates. Then you can customize those elements with various colors, shapes, and different typographies, and much more. So the Certificate Builder isn't included with Tutor LMS Pro. However, if you have the Tutor LMS Pro, you can download it for free from Themium's official website. So we're going to Themium's official website. From here, click on Tutor LMS. And you can see the Certificate Builder is over here. From here, you can uh, download Certificate Builder. Just simply go to your download page and then you'll be able to download the certificate builder from that page so after you download certificate builder you will see this compressed file over here now we are going to upload this to our wordpress website and install it just like we installed the tutor lms pro so from here hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new then click on the upload button and then click on choose file then we're going to choose the certificate builder and click on open and then click on install now activate the plugin so now your plugin has been activated now let's take a look at our certificate builder hover your mouse over tutor lms pro and click on settings from here you can see that there's a button over here called certificate click on this button and it will open up the certificates page from here you can see all the certificates that we've created and also access the certificate settings since we haven't created any certificates the list is empty to open up the certificate builder there's a button here called create certificate click on this it will open up a new interface and this is the certificate builder you can see there are so many certificate templates over here themium keeps building more and more certificate templates and they add it in their uh, certificate template library so there are a lot of templates over here you can choose a category for your certificates for example i'm selecting the creative here are all the creative certificate templates these are all the minimal and creative certificate templates you can also choose the orientation of your certificate from here you can click on portrait or landscape I'm going to keep it as landscape and you can choose a certificate template and start building on that or you can select a blank certificate so we're going with the blank certificate so we have a canvas over here as you can see and there are various elements at the left side of the screen you can simply drag and drop an element on the blank canvas and you can edit it there are also certificate templates you can see here you can import these uh, templates and build on those but we're going to build our certificate manually. So let's grab some text, drag and drop it over here. Then you can click on this text and type something on your own. So I'm going to write certificate of completion. I can also change the alignment of the text. I'm going to put it in the middle. You can also change the color of your text. 
and also you can change the transparency and the position so I want to change the family of the text from here I can change the family I want to choose Poppins there are various families over here you can use I also want to change the font weight to semi bold and the font size to say 48 here it is and the type spacing and the line height is okay we're going to stretch this element a bit okay now that's fine now we can position this on anywhere in the canvas so I'm going to place it over at the top now it looks great now let's add a little bit of shapes or designs to do that go to the library and you can see there are various shapes illustration badges borders and there are various watermarks, frames, etc. So let me pick a border from here. So I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. You can also resize it like this. I'm going to keep it a bit small. Okay. I can also change the color of the border. I'm going to choose the blue. You can pick any color from the color picker, but I'm going to keep it as blue and then change the transparency to say 60 okay now it looks a lot cooler now let's add a little bit of more text so from the elements we're going to grab and drop the text over here and we're going to write awarded to okay then we want to click it and drag it over here you can change the positioning of your text anytime you want okay I think it looks good over here okay then I want to add the name of the student so I can just simply drag and drop it over here you can see it says student underscore name so the name of the student will be dynamically placed on your certificate over here so let me grab a few more uh, texts and I'm going to write something let's say I want to stretch it all over here and then I want to write okay let's change the font size first to 24 okay now let's write something for his her excellent accomplishment of the course now you can write your course name over here I'm going to write fundamentals of WordPress course so I'm going to resize this and place it over here okay now it looks I think I can change the font size a little bit smaller say 18 okay now it looks great not that great but I think it will do so now let's pick a style for our certificate let's grab a badge from over here and drag and drop it over here now let's resize it okay that's great you can put it over here on the left side of your certificate you can also put it on the right side of your certificate you can place it anywhere you want I think I'm going with the middle one and it looks okay I guess alright so now let's place some more things I can also place the name of the instructor over here and this is also another dynamic data so you can place it over here you can also place other elements such as the grades let me grab it from here and drop it over here it I don't know if the design looks that great but this is another dynamic data if your students receive an A plus or B plus if you decide to show the grades then it will be shown in the certificate over here so let's grab another element the QR code uh, I think you can grab it from over here and place it anywhere on the screen and then you can also place the verification ID of the certificate and which is another dynamic data so you can also place the signature of the instructor just grab and drop this one and from here click on the upload button and you can upload your signature so I already have a signature over here in our library I'm going to select this one and place it over here now our certificate looks a lot better oh there's a signature element over here let me delete it 
all right so it looks great but it still looks kind of blank so let's add a little bit of backdrops now click on this backdrops button and it will show you a lot of backdrops so you can use any backdrops for your certificate so i'm going to select this one now this backdrop is a lot cooler it looks a bit modern but i want something more simpler such as this one yes now it looks really great we can reposition some of our elements yes i think it looks great you can reposition your uh, elements in any way you want so one thing we forgot to do is name our certificate so to name your certificate uh, click on this untitled templates over here and then type the name of you want to give your certificate so i want to call it fundamentals of wordpress okay now uh, your certificate is being updated so wait for a few seconds and after it's done click on publish and your certificate will be saved all right now let's click on this close button and see what we have done and you can see the certificate appears over here the fundamentals of wordpress certificate that we just named you can also tweak the certificate settings you can uh, choose the authorized name authorized company name show the instructor on certificate and a lot of other options as well so now let's include the certificate in a course so click on your courses as you can see we have a lot of courses so we want to edit this course and scroll down because the certificate is in the lowermost part and you can see that there are a lot of certificate templates but this is the certificate template that we just created you can click on use this to use this certificate you can also click on the preview button to preview your certificate now i know the certificate that i built might not be that good looking because i don't have much design knowledge but the purpose of this video was to show you how you can customize your certificates using the certificate builder as you have seen the amount of customization options the builder provides you is truly amazing using this you can create unique certificates for your courses so that concludes our video and if you found this video helpful give it a like and share it and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thanks for watching see you in the next video